everybody. Glad to see you guys here. Good, good, good. Come up, come on up. Okay. David, you too. Very good. Well, I'm, I'm very, very pleased uh, to be here today and ex excited uh, to be here and uh, particularly happy to, to uh, have uh, Representative Hatchem and, and Rhodes here today, um, both the housing chair and, and this district uh, represented today. Mayor Wright Housing, in, uh, in some minds and in some contexts, has been associated uh, for many years uh, with uh, difficulties and challenges regarding housing, uh, regarding uh, shelter for people, regarding uh, people's abilities to be able to take maximum advantage of, of uh, their capacities uh, to live their lives in, in peace and security and with a ho hope for the future. Built in 1953, last uh, uh, any kind of comprehensive improvements there as long ago as 1984. And uh, we're here today uh, with the uh, uh, director of the board, Reverend Gerlach, and our terrific executive director, Hakeem Hawasafi, to say to you that Mayor Wright Housing is about to be reborn. Reborn. Not just revitalized or improved, but reborn. Uh, some of you may have had the opportunity to go uh, down uh, the H1 and see how the revitalization has taken place at uh, Cohill Park Terrace. You look over now and you say, what, what, what's that, uh, that, that new condominium over there, that, that, uh, that, that terrific uh, building complex over there? That uh, is, is the revitalized uh, uh, Cohill Park Terrace. Uh, Ongoing now, improvements there. But Mayor Wright, Mayor Wright Oz seems to have been left behind. Well, we're here today to say that uh, we're putting out a, a request uh, for those who are interested in, uh, in forming a, uh, a partnership with the state and the Hawaii Public Housing Authority, a request for a master developer uh, to provide uh, transit-oriented development and redevelopment of Mayor Wright Homes. Uh, the, uh, the board uh, that I was able to appoint uh, over the past four years has done an absolutely fabulous job of working with the residents uh, to see to it that we get to this point. Uh, Mayor Wright Housing has been revitalized. Uh, maybe some of the last attention that was paid had to do with getting hot water into the uh, into the complex uh, after seven years uh, of, of neglect. Uh, maybe uh, some people knew that there, there were some uh, difficulties and challenges with apartments that needed to be rehabilitated. I can tell you that uh, today uh, it is a vital, safe community uh, with uh, almost 99% uh, occupancy and that all of the residents uh, there will have a, a right of uh, first choice uh, in the in the reborn uh, Mayor Wright housing that's uh, that's about to come, and uh, I'm so proud of the work uh, that Hakeem and, and 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 Dave have done. I'm going to ask them to uh, step forward now, and and uh, uh, Dave, perhaps you can present it from the board, and Hakeem can present some of the details as to what's going to take place. Thank you, Governor. When the governor gave me the great opportunity to serve on this board, my primary concern was Mayor Wright. It's in our neighborhood, in our church neighborhood, and it was a place that really needed help. Over seven years in the last administration, the tenants there went without hot water. Uh, that was revealed by our daily newspaper, and people who read about it were beside themselves were sh with shock. When the governor came in, he fixed that problem in about seven weeks. 
He has been completely behind us these four years. Everything that we've asked for, we've received from the governor's office, from our legislature, to make public housing something that is something that we can be proud of, not an eyesore and not a blight and not a place where people are afraid to live. And that's happening and that's coming to pass. Our vision for Mayor Wright in the future is a mixed development that doesn't ghettoize people, that, that replaces unit for unit what we have, but with more density and different kinds of income levels uh, living in this vital section uh, of our community. It's going to remake Palama. This is going to remake Palama, and I think eventually Kalihi as well. And that's something that we have long needed in our state. And, and Governor, thank you so very much for all that you've done to make this happen. There's a lot of vulnerable, needy people who are benefiting from this, and we're very grateful. Thank you. And now uh, the, uh, the best public housing director in the nation. Indeed. <laughs> uh, thank you, Governor. I appreciate it. Aloha. First, I just want to acknowledge my staff uh, that's been uh, behind this uh, since day one. Certainly appreciate all the hard work. As you know, we, we did stabilize the agency. Uh, we went from the uh, occupancies in the 80s to 97 plus. Uh, Mayor Wright, as the governor said, is now 99% uh, occupied. Uh, also, the crimes and everything else, as you've seen in Honolulu, uh, uh, in the HPD's report, uh, many crimes subsided by 87%, overall by 50%. Uh, today is a, a step forward to the long-term planning for the agency. And Mayor Wright happened to be uh, one of our priorities, uh, priority one due to a lot of reasons. Uh, one, it sits on over 20 acres of land that's practically uh, unused. So this request for qualifications will help us to leverage a uh, little bit of public money uh, with a lot of private money, quite a lot, uh, to make a mixed use, mixed income uh, development keeping uh, in mind the TOD uh, uh, development that's happening. It's, it's a prime location. Uh, it's going to be something better than anything that's been seen, uh, and we're looking forward to, uh, to getting it done. Uh, wanted to thank, uh, obviously, the, uh, the governor and the legislature for helping us out uh, achieve this, uh, the laws that's been passed, and the support that we've been getting. It's been uh, certainly tremendous. Uh, a lot of other details we can provide to you as to the RFQ and the timing and everything else, because I know your time is very limited. Thank you, Governor. Thank you. I know you guys weren't scheduled to speak, but I'd appreciate it if you could come up and perhaps say a word or, or two. Uh, Carl, uh, Representative Rhodes is, is, of course, in, in his district. And uh, although the issues involved are not district uh, uh, alone, his district alone, but uh, the site specific and Mayor Wright and, and Carl is, is something that we're, we're very, very proud to be working with him. Thanks very much, Governor. I'm, I'm uh, very, very, very pleased that uh, your administration is moving forward on this. Um, I've been agitating for years to get anybody to listen to me about this project. Uh, it's, uh, it's a big block. It's a huge city block. With the state also owns Kukui Gardens, which is right across the street. It dovetails perfectly with uh, transit-oriented development because there'll be a transit station right there at Ka'ahi and Dillingham, which is easy walking distance. Uh, I've always thought that the potential was tremendous and Lord knows it's high time for something to be done with those buildings that they were may have been modernized in 1984 but 1984 was 30 years ago if my math is correct so uh, you can definitely see the wear and tear there and I you know this is a great step forward and I look forward to working with you to to make it happen and the sooner the better as far as I'm concerned thank you thank you Carl and now the housing chair I just want to thank the governor and the director, Hakeem, because I was very excited when I took over as housing chair and I've seen this project and it came through the legislature. It, I, I don't think the public understands this will change Palama and it will change Palama forever going forward because with this revitalization of the 20 acres plus the rail station coming in, this, is, this will be a huge impact for the area. So I look forward to it. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, I would like to just add in, in conclusion that um, I've seen uh, this transformation taking place over the past four years. And it is, has been a pleasure 
uh, to observe and to be able to, I hope, encourage uh, the staff uh, that's assembled here today, and I know not all of your colleagues ca can be here today, that this is a, a representative uh, uh, side uh, of the authority. But let me tell you, uh, when, when the idea of public service is put forward, and uh, and the 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 fact of of, of public employment uh, involved in Hawaii's future, uh, the staff a at the authority is, is exemplary uh, and, and is precisely uh, the kind of public service that we can all be proud of. It's been a a pleasure and a real privilege for me to be able to work with you and 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 to be supportive, because. Uh, Everything that the legislators have said and, and has been said uh, already today uh, with regard to, to, to the incredible progress that this is going to represent uh, throughout the Palama area. We're talking plenty, 20 plus acres there. None of this would have been possible without the hard work that has brought uh, this to fruition as a result of the, of the support staff we have there. Well, let's all stay here. Is there any questions at, at this stage or comments that you'd like to make? Come on up. Uh, Everybody. Carl, come on back, just in case. David? Including how will the relocation work, and you touched on the right of return. Can you go into that a little bit more? Sure. Okay. Yeah. The relocation will be done uh, timely. Everyone will be relocated, will be under the Relocation Act, which means that will cost absolutely nothing to the residents. Uh, it is part of the RFQ to ensure that uh, uh, to give it the importance that it deserves. So we'll do it in phases. Everyone uh, that needs to be relocated will be relocated to a suitable uh, place and have the right of return uh, with all the expenses paid. Place? It'll be in the area, it'll be close to the area. We'll be having a master uh, uh, plan for, uh, for that when it comes closer. We'll be meeting with the residents multiple times once we uh, select the master planner. And this will be uh, planning with the community, along with the community, to decide where and when and how long. So how many will be half at one time, a third, a quarter? It, it's really, uh, we don't know yet. This will be uh, a huge investment. Uh, uh, more than a half a billion dollar investment. So once we get the master development, uh, we'll look at the, what's feasible uh, and we'll be making those announcements as we know. Uh, and that will be working along with the, uh, uh, the residents and the community. Uh, it depends on the financing. There is a lot of factors that will be involved. But one thing for sure, they will be relocated at our own expenses and they will have the right to return to a brand new renovated unit. Uh, we, we anticipate in the next three years uh, the completion, but really will depend. We know by uh, October uh, when we select a master developer, then we'll start a series of meetings with the neighborhood and the community, and then we'll come up with a, a master plan and a schedule that we will follow. Yes, the rent will not change. The rent are uh, calculated based on the income, so uh, that will not change. Are you concerned at all about in the higher income brackets because everyone's going to be living together? Will people want to live in a mixed community like this? Are there any concerns about that? I know the facilities made a lot of improvements over the years, but with people from such various income levels living together, well, do you think? Take a look at what uh, the situation is right now and what it will be with a, with a, a reborn area. We're talking about transfer. There's going to be a station there. There's revitalizations already taking place uh, uh, across the street. The entire area is going to be revitalized, uh, and it's going to be connected, of course, to, to urban core uh, development for housing uh, for everybody. So uh, we anticipate that th people will be excited about this, and uh, the very fact that it's going to be mixed income is going to be uh, uh, an attraction. We're not, th this, this ghetto idea is going to disappear. This is, uh, this is uh, an exciting uh, urban experience that people are going to want to participate in, we're certain. So 
Yes, we, that's why we're putting out the opportunity for a developer to, to make proposals. We would be delighted to, to be able to increase the number of, of units that are going to be available and at the same time uh, provide for the creation of a community that's going to be walkable, livable, uh, and, uh, and an exciting place for people to be. Well, we certainly anticipate that. That's one of the reasons that we, we want to have a, a proposals made by a, a master developer. So we'll, we'll be uh, 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 phasing in uh, uh, according to the plan that is finally uh, adopted by the, uh, by the board. At May right? Uh, we have no backlog, actually. We went, uh, uh, last month, the uh, HUD, the uh, HUD came in and did an inspection for us. And uh, we were very lucky and uh, honored to receive a 79 score. Uh, where Mayor Wright used to receive 50s in the 50s, we got 79. And that shows the amount of work. We, we have not stopped working since we, we took over. Although we know that we're going to renovate it, we know that people live there. So we have, uh, we have done sidewalks, we have done everything that has to do with uh, being kind of ADA friendly, as well as fixed uh, all the units that's possible. Now we did the yearly inspection and we found some issues with some units and we have a special team that's going one at a time to address those. Yeah. Uh, Senator Oakland uh, was able to join us, Chun Oakland, and so I'd like, she's been a great champion uh, in this area and I, I'd like to give her an opportunity to say a few words. Again, uh, this wasn't planned uh, as such, but uh, uh, I know that she's had a deep and abiding interest uh, for not just for months, but for years in this. And this culmination, I think, uh, uh, offers her an opportunity to give a little perspective. Is that okay, Thank Susie? Thank you, Governor. Actually, um, when I was chair of, of the Human Services Committee and Public Housing was in my committee a few years ago, I think it was one of the first times that we did a public-private partnership, and that was at Kuhio Park Terrace. So I'm very excited about what is happening here at Mary Wright Housing. I'm hoping that we will be able to not only produce more uh, housing for uh, our very low-income residents, but also have a mixture of incomes that will actually, I think, promote a much healthier community. So thank you, Governor. Anything else? Thank you. You know, one of the things that happened before uh, was that people weren't informed. They didn't have an opportunity to, to uh, express themselves or they were on the receiving end all the time. Uh, since this administration came in, we've been uh, engaged in an outreach since this new board of directors under Dave Gerlich uh, has, has come into uh, authority. Uh, that all that's changed. So uh, I don't, uh, misinformation, I think, is the last thing that happens over in, uh, in Mayor right now. That's why you get the satisfaction rate uh, that you have. Um, the safety, the security, uh, the constant upgrading that's been taking place uh, for the past four years uh, indicates to the residents that uh, not only uh, is this administration and the Public Housing Authority concerned about them, but they're active participants uh, in it. And of course, they will be in, in this as well. As I say, the bottom line on this is Mayor Wright Housing is about to be reborn and the entire area itself is going to have a revitalization uh, and a very, very exciting uh, period of urban life is about to unfold in Honolulu. Thank you very much.